everybody, Frank Vespi here, The Racing Biz, theracingbiz.com, and it's time for Laurel Park in 60 Seconds, three stories that caught our eye this past racing weekend at Laurel, all in about one minute. So why don't we dive right in? The first one we want to talk about is the story of Dawnland. Dawnland, a three-year-old Jimmy Creed filly, is trained by Brittany Russell for Carl and Kathy Glassman. Three-year-old filly made a couple of sort of nondescript starts as a two-year-old, got six months off, and came back running this past racing weekend under Jockey Heavy on Toledo. She graduated first time off the bench, looked good doing it. Here's Brittany Russell talking about her filly. Hey, filly, let's just, let's just wait, wait until she can get laces next year, you know, just give her some time. So. Yeah. It worked out good. She's a big filly. Um, you know, as a two-year-old, maybe she, she always worked with it, maybe she was a little side. Now she's grown up, um, and she has a racier way about her, so. Second story, Eastern Bay is back. The eight-year-old is trained by Claudio Gonzalez for Bob Bone. He's great at stakes place and a stakes winner. He's won two straight since getting a five-month break. On Sunday, under Jackie Mac Enriquez, he cruised in an allowance, probably his best start in several months. And finally, the private term stakes winner, Shake 'em Loose, has been nominated to the Triple Crown Series by owner trainer Rodolfo Sanchez Solomon. This guy's won two stakes since being claimed for $16,000 last year. Next up, most likely, is the Tessio at Laurel April 16th. A win in the Tessio would get this guy a spot in the Preakness, and that's not too shabby for a $16,000 claim. That's going to do it here for us on Laurel Park in 60 seconds. Hope you all have a great week. Keep up with racing and breeding all week long on The Racing Biz, theracingbiz.com. And we'll catch you next time right here on Laurel Park in 60 seconds.